Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play School Days. As we left off, we are having our first class of the day and we're having Mr. Ben teaching us in the white room. So we better get there before anything else happens. If you're late from your class, you will, uh, of course, you will get some lines for not attending to your class and with every class you will always have the SWAT with you oh, come on chaps settle down I'll just wait for the others to sit down before I can take my own seat which is always in front of the SWAT I can take anything any seat in front of the SWAT but not the seat that he's in because Otherwise, he will sit on the same seat and make me fall off my chair. Pretty much not good, that's just how it goes. And I didn't introduce myself, but you don't, you don't need in me to introduce myself. You already know that I'm your friend in Neighborhood Let's Play Spider-Man. Right an essay with this uh, title. Active Volcanoes. Well... I do know that there's at least two or three. That's how many, that's how much I know about geometry. <laughs> Answer the questions on page 161 of your lovely textbook. So we pretty much have nothing else to do but to sit here and wait until the class is over before we can begin our west of getting all the other shields I'm just wondering how I would plan on doing this on how to get the, the uh, shields that are down on the diner revision in library oh I see I guess I'm not going down there then because I have to go up here be very careful if yes he is here so I have to be really careful that he doesn't hit me with his slingshot or catapult as the game calls it there's pretty much nothing else right now I cannot do anything because uh, if I go out of here so that I'm not here I cannot really do much. I wonder if I get points if I punch the SWAT. Oh well. I can really do... I really cannot do much here. I just have to wait. That is pretty much all. Oh, pretty much all that I can do. I can fire my catapult around and hopefully hit something, which won't be much. Oh, here comes the headmaster. I wonder if uh, I'm sure that uh, Eddie Brock. Is, no, not Eddie Brock. What did I name in the, this guy? I cannot remember anymore. I don't care. Because what I really need to do is just walk around in the library and pretend that I'm attending school and such. Deep. Silence! Or I'll cane the lot of you. Yes, the me, old mean headmaster. Just as we look like it, stereotypical. Right? Right. Right! I really cannot go downstairs because uh, Mr... Mr. Dude... Mr. Ben is downstairs. So he would, caught, he would catch me. I would be caught and I would get lines. And lines is what I've said already. Something you do not want. No, no, no get down all the way and go. Nope. 
So let's hope that one of these teachers come down here. Don't let Brock touch you this playtime. He's got mumps. Press you if you understand. I understand. Thank you. So I cannot let the bloody, bloody bully hit me because he would give me the mumps. Whatever that is. I do not know these English and British terms to things. But I do not think that mumps is a very good thing to have. Oh, blast it. I have a great opportunity here to get some of these shields, but there's all of the teachers around, so if I use the catapult, they would give me lines. So I better try and get the other side with Mr. Ben. He's the nicest uh, teacher. There he is, and there is Brock. Oh, crap. I cannot let Brock touch me. Let's so hope that this hits him, and I can just run past him. Run like hell. And hopefully get Mr. Ben down on his bum. Hey! Hey! Damn it! He just missed it. You have to be pre very precise with where they land. Otherwise, you will not get what you want. And I did not get what I needed. Pretty much the only thing that I can do with Brock is just to avoid him. That is all I need to do. Just avoid. Like I did, so he didn't. It's you know that he doesn't punch me and make me fall on my ass. No, way too soon. But give him lines. Damn it! Ha ha ha! Take that, Flash. Oops. Ooh, I'm too late. Well, maybe I can get it. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. All of those teachers again. So let's hope that I can actually... I'm gonna use you again, Headmaster. Because I can. Hopefully I can get at least one of those shields up there. This is not a very easy task, if you have may have noticed. He's at the right position. Yes! Got it! The reading room with Mr. Vulture. That's the geography room. I think the reading room is upstairs. Yeah, that's where the SWAT is. If you... Oh, when sometimes when you don't know which room is which, just follow the SWAT. The SWAT will always tell you which room you need to go into. The only problem with going into class is sometimes there's too many students in one classroom and they'll just... They'll just uh, make everything more difficult than they should be. I hate sums. Well, good for you. Oh, oh, oh. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Of course, everybody's here. We got Flash, we got Brock, we got... Got the SWAT. Whoever, whatever his name was again. Can't remember right now. There's too many main names to remember. Be quiet and seated, you nasty little whippersnappers. Oh, crap all. Let me get into position. Thank you. Like I was saying, sometimes the classroom can be overcrowded. <laughs> Please, sir. I cannot tell a lie. A flash wrote on the blackboard. Please give him lines. Ah. <laughs> Answer the questions. On page 174 of your lovely textbook. <laughs> What happened in the year that I was born? Now this is important. Please sir, I cannot tell a lie. It was the Battle of Eversham. Eversham. 
When was the Battle of Shrewsbury? Please say, I cannot tell a lie. Of course you cannot tell a lie. You always cannot tell a lie. It was in 1403. So, Mr. Connors in the White Room. But that was very important that we know whence what what battle was in the birth year of Mr. Vulture. Because, like I said, that you need to get all the shields activated but then you need to get all the spelling is boring yeah and a very nice flash you need to get the passwords for the safe in the teachers room and get the password you need to just uh, for the others you just need to the other teachers in, instead except for mr. vulture you need to Shoot them and make them fall down, just like that, like he did right there. I'm just waiting for everything to settle down before I can explain this. There we go. So, once, once you have all of the shields uh, flashing, you have to shoot the teachers and uh, shoot them in the head and they will reveal one of the code uh, letters or numbers, I think it's letters, for the safe in the teacher's room so you can um, finish your goal. But uh, for Mr. Vulture, you needed to know the birth year for him. And now that we know that what happened in the year of his birth, which was the Battle of Eversham. I have all of the names and uh, codes here. He was born in the year of 1265. Yeah, he's a very old man if this is in this uh, is situation in the 19 early 20th century or something like that. So he is a very old man, which is ridiculous. But anyway, we know the code number, at least the number for his birth year. So once I have gotten all of the shields flashing, when I put on a blackboard that he goes to teach into the birth year, he will reveal his number of the code. It's something like a hypnosis done to him, so that he can only reveal the code and letter once he knows his birth year. So when that is revealed, he will he will reveal his code, but I still have all of those lovely, lovely little, little shields to activate. So as you can see, this game can be very difficult in so many ways. And hopefully this time, like last uh, in the last video, I don't have any problems with my sticky keyboard because I took that off. So let us follow Mr. Connors here, and hopefully hit him at the right spot, which is not. Octavius, of course I give it Octavius. That's a lot of points for me. Oh crap, come on. I think I got it. Yes. Yes. I got the shield and I got some extra score for giving lines to Flash and Octavius. And I'm always fearing that one of these little kids have something to say to me. Like Brock having the mumps or something like that. Let's see. I love Wheelie! Well, good for you, Flash. So... No teachers around here. I was hoping for somebody to walk around in the diner so I can try and get all the other three shields from here. So I have only eight shields to go. There's 15 in total, so I'm halfway through. Which is nice, which is nice. Oh, get off on me, Brock. You're not gonna hit me. Take that, you bully piece of crap. Ah, mother. Could have, if I had been here earlier, I would have gotten the high headmaster. I tried to get him to get the shields. But now that he's going forwards, I can actually try for the other shields, which is very nice. 
If you're thinking that I can, I can uh, if I could use the black boards to give the birth year here now and get the uh, and get the uh, code letter for Mr. Vulture, it's not gonna happen. You need to get the shields activated first. That's step one of this game. Get the shields activated. It's taking such great opportunities to get the shields, but... Oh, bother. So the headmaster, Mr. Jameson, is gonna teach me today in the white room. And I hope that the little kid and the bully do not come up here. Now oh, he's coming up here. Haha, <laughs> punched you first, you bully. Because I fear this place is might this might get a little overcrowded here because because of all the students. So they will try and get to the same uh, uh, he went up. Good. Just enough seats for all of us. I'm sitting down just because uh, I'm being careful. You can write on the uh, blackboard yourself. I just don't remember which button you did, uh, which uh, letter you did it push. I think it's B for blackboard, so you can write, or W for write. I'll have to check that later. Because you can put your own messages on the blackboard just like Flash does. So, like I said, this is a very time-consuming and a very difficult game, but as long as you do not take too much lines, I've already got way too many lines myself, because I'm pretty much screwed with that, because I'm one-fifth uh, of a uh, way to um, getting a game over. Like I said, it's 10,000 lines. Vectors and Matrix. 49 times 26 is something that I, that I cannot count that's fast. 1273, therefore. What is 51 times 38? Peter, I cannot lie. I hate when he says that all the time. It's 1938. Vectors and matrices. Yeah, like I said. It's W to start writing, but I couldn't erase anything from there, for some reason. So now it's back downstairs and hope that I can get these shields. And hopefully at some point I can actually go and... Pff, stupid fly. I can actually try and get all of the shields in the big room. I don't remember what room that was called. We had the reading room, we had the geography room, which is a map room, I think it was. We got the white room, and then we got the lecture hall. I, I, it's not really called lecture hall, but I, like I said, I do not remember what it is, what it is called. I'm not sure if I got it. I got it! Okay, that's good. So Mr. Vulture is coming this way, so I can get one of the shields from here. Then I'm almost done with all the shields downstairs, which is good, which is good. Very good. So hopefully I can get this and we can move along. He should be right there. Yes, got it. Just one more downstairs, then I can move on to getting into the big room. The only problem is, I still haven't got any classes in that room. If I had any class in there, it would be much easier, because then I could punch these little bastards and then use them to get the shields. Well, nah. Octavius is going to tell Mr. Jameson what you're up to. You must stop him getting to his study this break. Pursue if you understand, yes I understand. So I have to stop the SWAT. I wonder how I'm gonna do that. I could just pellet with my pellet him with my catapult pellets. Mm. 
The only wonder is how the hell did he find out? Ah, I'm not. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh no, I shot again. This is not doing very well for me because I was. I I don't know why I shot him there. I really don't know why. That was really stupid of me. Punch you in the face. I'm gonna punch you again once you get up. There we go. Punch you once more. There we go. I think if the SWAT gets to the headmaster when that when they tell me that he's about to go tell him about it. I think it would. I think it is an instant game over because the SWAT is uh, figuring out what I'm doing, which is trying to get to the uh, teacher safe to get all the results of my last year failures, and I don't want to get expelled from school. There we go. This is a very long break, by the way, because it has been going on for some, some for quite a while now. So I'm hoping that the next class starts very soon, or something else starts very soon. Otherwise, I will be very, very much minged. Say what minged? Go. There you go. And get out of here. Got it. Okay. Now I just need to. I couldn't get the SWAT anymore, so now he's telling the headmaster, so I better run to the other side of the school and hope for the best. At least I got all of the. Ah, good. Back in the reading room, oh, seriously. Uh, all the way back. But at least I got all of the shields down here. Now, stop that flash. I didn't really does that. So I'm pretty sure I'm safe. Because it was supposed to be during this break. Although the SWAT and Mr. James are walking together. But that's because they're going into the same classroom as I am. So hopefully I'm safe. I should be. If I'm not, then this game will be over. And once I get to the classroom, and hopefully it is safe, I shall... Stop the video there and hopefully we can do much better in the next part of the game. And hopefully we can get the f last five shields and actually I will get to a part of the game that I've never reached before. Which is getting trying to get the passwords from the teachers. School dinners are horrible. I'm just waiting for all of these to sit down. So I can sit down. Oh no. Just like I said before, there's one student too many now. I'm certified to get lines from this. I'm most certainly certified to get lines from this because I'm standing up in a classroom. At least he believe they always believe when they say that the flash has done it. But sometimes if I write on the blackboards and he starts to tell me that it was me, the teachers might not believe that. So he gets lines instead of me. But I usually don't write on the blackboards in the, in the classroom that I'm going into because of that. It's very risky. But if they give Octavius lines, it's um, just more score for yourself, of course. Of course. And that is what happens if they sit on top of you. You just <laughs> face plan onto the uh, floor, pretty much. Mr. Vulture in the white room. Oh, please, let me go into the big room already. Nobody cares about your equations and such sums and all that. So anyway, 
as I said before, I'm gonna stop the video here. And hopefully, next time, we can get into the other big room to get what we need. So I hope you have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all next time. Toodle peep and tata. Take care, people.